and begins to ratchet up. It would have to, Rich, with that golden ticket come the end of this week, and that's a chance to play. All right, guys, welcome to round two of this championship. We are seeing some players play at the top of their game. I'm just going to keep going. Hole number six, 393 yards. Par four, what's in store for us here, Frank? Another one, really, where you're just trying to poke it down there. When you stand on that back tee, there's an overhanging limb that you just get an eye of. So if you try and hit that ball a little too low, that's going to encourage a miss hit. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. They par yesterday, this one for Birdie. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. And he makes it for par. Frank's seventh hole here at TPC Sawgrass. How do you break this one down? Not overly long, 440 yards, but uh, once again, it's a tee shot. If you're driving the ball well, that's fine. You just sort of blister it down there, but you're starting to lose one a little bit to the right. There's three pot bunkers there. And of course, if you're fearful of it going left, there's the canal all the way down the left side that'll get your attention. Now the approach to the seventh. Frank, what do you need to be mindful of here? It's rather narrow in the front of the screen, and then there's some mounds both right and left. Be very aware of those mounds. They can actually help you out. <laughs> Birdie try up next. 21 feet from pay dirt. Kind of a tricky read. Shouldn't be a problem here. He got robbed, Frank. No, oh, it's like k kissing your mother-in-law. Dang it. Right he is currently sitting at one under Sucks. Good putt. That sucked. All right, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. The eighth, 237-yard par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding the green. What's the best approach? You come out through that chute or that hallway of trees there, and this being the longest of the four par threes of TPC Sawgrass, the green actually plays much smaller than what it looks because of that narrow entry. Oh, jeez. 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 Oh, oh boy. On the fringe. Not too bad. All right, Frank, just on the fringe, he might be thinking about making this. He's a better chipper than you, Rich. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Let's just do it right. You wonder what he's thinking on that. Why is it? It bounced right in the hole. And getting ready for the putt. Oh, 
Frank, nothing really went the player's way this week. Yeah, if this was motor racing, you'd say it's a case of having four flat tires. Frank, now at the ninth, this really is one of my favorite par fives in the entire sport. And uh, I certainly enjoy watching people play it today, Rich. Uh, it used to be unreachable, but the longer hitters now, uh, we're starting to see them go for this par five regularly in two. And the reason why they start to hit the drive more down the right now than what they used to. People used to try and go down the left side. The right side, it hugs the water, but you get a better view of the second shot. Frank, this is all about plotting your way around. Now the third shot at the ninth. Yeah, there's a reward for a precise short iron shot in here. Depends on the right or the left. Precision pays off. Just a pure strike. Perfect result. He'll have a good look at birdie now. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Wow, I thought he made Come on. Kind of touch of a bummer right there. Yeah, <laughs> you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up. <laughs> Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week. Just a few too many pars. That concludes the second round here at this amazing golf course. And Frank, I'm really looking right. forward to tomorrow. Uh, I certainly am as well. The players have gotten off to uh, a very good start, and they must have a good feel for the course right now and know what they have to do. All right, guys. Well, that will conclude this episode. We're going to do round three in the next one for the web tournament. Web